new Tallahassee Voices poll has the public speaking out about candidates running for public office. The results suggest responders believe the people who run for public office are underqualified. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Galka joins us from Tallahassee City Hall with details. Matt. Andy, Angela, good evening. Tallahassee Voices posed the question, do you agree or disagree that not enough highly qualified people run for local offices such as city and county commission? The results, a whopping 66% agreed. Citizens in Tallahassee have made it clear they don't think enough highly qualified people are running for local offices. Government in general is at the lowest opinion rating across the board, local, state, federal. You know, nobody has a high opinion of elected officials. The poll question was actually Leon County Commissioner Brian Deloge's idea. He wasn't surprised by the factors people listed. The main reason people gave for highly qualified people not running was so they wouldn't have to subject their families to scrutiny. Involvement with the rough and tumble of politics and not wanting to have to raise money were the second and third most popular answers. I've been elected to serve the people of the city of Tallahassee three times and I intend to continue that election until I make a determination as to whether or not I'm going to leave. A high-profile ethics case for Tallahassee Mayor John Marks doesn't help matters. Deloge suggests people may be put off by the media's impact, but still thinks everyone would benefit if more people would step up and run for office. We just need more people willing to get in the game. I don't want to say that this is a referendum on, on the existing commissioners, but there are people out in the sidelines that I think with a little bit of nudging might take that last step. And I was able to speak with City Commissioner Gil Zipper via phone, and he said he didn't want to make any comments because he had not yet seen the poll or poll or any of the results. Live at City Hall, Matt Galka, WCTV Eyewitness News.